Hey friends, Miss Michelle here. I wanted to go over a science lesson with you guys today. And this is a science lesson you could even do in your own backyard. Uh, today in science, we're gonna talk about insects. I have an important question for you. Have you ever thought of this? Do insects have bones? Hmm, think about that for a minute. They're hard. Sometimes if you've ever been hit by a bug flying at you, sometimes you think it's really hard and it feels like it would have bones, right? But insects do not have bones. They have something called an exoskeleton. And what that means is their skeleton is on the outside of their body. So um, some other important parts of an insect are what makes an insect an insect are their head. And they also have two eyes. And if you looked at some insects like flies, you might notice that they have um, eyes that stick out in the side of their head and if you look very carefully like if, if pictures of flies under a microscope you'll notice that they have like lots of tiny little spots all in their eyes because they don't see like we see they see things very magnified so um, well I'm gonna have a link to um, where I'm getting this information from and you could look up some more information on insects as well and there's going to be a little worksheet attached to this for you guys to fill out and label the parts of an insect because to be an insect like I said it has to have the exoskeleton does not have bones it is going to have a head and it is going to have a thorax and abdomen uh, let's see and two antennae. You may think that's a weird word, antennae. You've heard of an antenna, right? So the reason we say antennae is because to be an insect, they have to have two. And antennae is the pluralization of one antenna. So when we say that insects have antennae, it's kind of a weird word. Um, let's see. And we talked about how the eyes of uh, an insect are not like ours. They see much different than human eyes. Um, let's see, I'm trying to find some fun facts, but I'm also gonna have this, what I'm getting this facts from linked below. Oh, here's a good picture that I can show you right now. So you got the legs, you see the abdomen is the back part. The thorax is the middle. They have a head, antennae, and compound eyes and wings. That's what makes up an insect. You may think, another question is, well, is a spider an insect? The answer to that is what? Guess before I say it. No, they're not insects. They belong to a family called arachnids. And so insects, another characteristic is they have six legs. Um, arachnids have eight legs. Um, let's see. There was some, there's some really interesting information. It's a really long article, so I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but I would love for you guys, your parents, to take a look at this article, and it talks more about classification of insects and how that works. Um, and then for a fun assignment, in addition to the label the insect worksheet, uh, I want you to go outside, get some fresh air, get some vitamin D from the sun, and see what kind of insects you can find. And uh, also in my social studies lesson, we're talking about butterflies, and they are also in the insect family. So find bees, butterflies, flies, dragonflies, those are all examples of the, of uh, bugs in the insect family. So that's it for today for science. I hope you guys are getting lots of fresh air and exercise and don't drive your moms and dads crazy. Miss you guys. See you later.